Hi everybody. So today we're going to talk about how to use a compound microscope. So this is what a compound microscope looks like. Microscopes can be simple microscopes or compound. Simple simply means that there's only one lens. You know of it as a magnifying glass. Compound microscope has two lenses and the light passes through both lenses and one lens magnifies the image. And that image that's already magnified is passed to a second lens that compounds its magnification. So the light will pass, this is the light, the light will pass through a specimen, whatever it is you're looking at, and it has to be thin enough to let light through, and we'll go through one lens, that's right here, that will magnify the image, and then it's passed up and bent through a mirror, and then it's magnified again here. So if this lens magnifies four times, and this lens magnifies 10 times, we're not gonna add them. This lens will magnify four times, and then that, mat, that four times magnified image will be magnified another 10 times. And so we multiply them, they compound each other, and that image would be magnified 40 times. So if the lens instead was 40 times, this lens down here had been 40 times, it would magnify 40 times, and that would be compounded by the 10, and you'd have 400 times magnification. So it's much more powerful than a magnifying glass. We're gonna talk about the parts and their names. We can talk about them. The two lenses are the key things to start with. You have the eyepiece or ocular. That usually, for most microscopes, um, magnifies 10 times, and the ones that we have in the classroom will magnify 10 times. Um, and the other lenses are called the objectives. Now at any one time you're looking through two lenses, you're going to have the one that's in place here and the ocular. But we have options of different objectives and so we can um, change it from one objective to another to another. This microscope shows three objectives. Some of the microscopes in the classroom have only two, some have four, some have three. Um, those are objective lenses and that's the ocular. We put the microscope slide on the stage. That's where it rests. Um, and the light is produced down at the bottom, passes through the stage and the specimen, which must be very, very thin to let light through. And then it goes through the objective and the ocular. Once we are looking at it, we want to get it in focus. And what that really means is that um, we want the image um, the lens, the objective lens, to be focused on the right depth. So if you think about your eyes, if you look across the room, um, you can see something across the room in focus, right? You can look on the other side of the room and the thing that you see over there is focused and then you can move and look at something up close and it's focused. Your eyeballs are great lenses. They change shape and they can focus on something far away and then change shape to be focused on something up close. Microscope lenses do not change shape, they're glass, they're dumb. Our eyes are really smart, really powerful, and can change shape to focus at different depths. We can focus up close, we can focus far away. The microscope cannot do that. And so the objective lens has a particular distance it's focused on. So if you imagine that my if you imagine that my fist is the bottom of um, one of the objective lenses, it is focused a certain distance below it. And if you move it up, that distance is still a certain distance below it. You're focused on a part above there. If you move it down, you're focused at a lower point. So if you want to focus far away or down low, closer to the stage, you have to move the objective lens down. If you want to see something a little bit higher, you have to move the objective lens up. And that's what we mean by focusing. And there are two knobs that can do that, that can move either, some microscopes make the objectives move, some microscopes make the stage move. But in either case, you have these two knobs that can make, change the depth at which the um, objective lens is focused. One of them moves the stage or the lenses, depending on which microscope, really, really fast. And that's called the coarse adjustment. That's the bigger knob. And the other is called the fine adjustment that moves it very, very little at a time. So you can get a really good, precise 
focus. That is get on the right depth of field. You can look the right distance away. So if the amoeba you're trying to see swims upward in the slide, you might need to move the objective up using the fine adjustment. You might need to move it up to keep tracking up as the amoeba swims up. And then as the amoeba swims down, you might have to go down because it'll go in and out of the focal point of the lens. Sometimes it'll seem dark. You can control the amount of light passing in, not by changing how bright the light is, but by changing this little, there's a little knob underneath the stage called the diaphragm, and that'll allow you to adjust the amount of light. Um, and if you want to switch from four times objective to 10 times to 40 times, you can switch it using a nose piece. The stage clips, stage clips, keep the, the uh, slide in place on the stage. We also have some microscopes that have um, a different kind of clip um, that I'll show you a picture of. Um, we have the base and the arm. So here's the arm, here's the base. Those are for carrying the microscope. You should always have one hand on the base and one hand on the arm when you carry it. And those are the parts of the microscope. Now, when you go to use the microscope, there are some steps you absolutely have to follow all the time. First of all, you always, always want to start on the lowest possible power. Um, and the reason you want to start on the lowest possible power um, is because it helps you scan. So if you look at these objectives, you've got the long one, you've got the short one. The shortest one is the lowest power. You would want to switch the nose piece so that the shortest one is in line, the lowest power. Now, why? Now, I want you to imagine for a moment that I throw a marble out on a football field. And I tell you, I want you to find that marble. Now, that's a daunting task right there. But now I want to tell you, you have two choices. You can go up and down. Um, the football field with two different items, depending, you can get your pick. You can have a toilet paper um, or, or paper towel roll um, cardboard center, and you can look through that and walk up and down the football field looking through the paper towel tube. Option number two, you get a big barrel tube, big barrel tube. You can walk up and down the football field looking through that big area. Well, which one would you want to look through? You would want to look through the larger one, right? You want to see more of the football field at a time as you look for that marble. You don't want to look through the teeny tiny little tube. Well, low power doesn't magnify as much, so it sees more of the slide at a time. The low power is like the big barrel you're looking through. And the high power magnifies something little teeny area um, into the circle. And so you only see a teeny tiny part. So the high power is like the paper towel tube and the low power is like the barrel. So you always want to start with the low power so you can see more of the slide at once. Sorry, my kitty is moving the, mic, the, the, the computer. All right, so you want to put the slide on there and you want to start on low power. And then you want to bring the stage as close to the low power objective as you can. Um, you'll bring it all the way, either the lens all the way down or the stage all the way up. And then you will look in the microscope and turn the coarse power until you see something come into focus. After you do that, you're gonna try and get the image right in the center. So you will move the slide around um, to get it centered. Some microscopes, you have to just put your fingers on that slide and move it around. But some microscopes, some we have in the classroom, have these little knobs right here, and you can mess around with them. And you'll see they'll move the slide forward and back or side to side very gradually. And so that's really helpful. So you can move the slide around to get it centered. So you want it centered and focused on low power before you switch to high power, because now you're really going to be seeing that little tiny part. So you want it centered and focused on the big tube a low power before you switch to high power. And then once you're on high power, do not ever touch the coarse adjustment knob. Only use the fine adjustment knob. It's really important. 
the course adjustment knob will move it too fast and you will smash the slide into the lens. You might scratch the lens or break it, which is the expensive part of the microscope. And you also will break the slide. So once you're on high power, once you have the long, the, uh, long objective lens, the high power in place, do not touch the big knob, only use the little knob, the fine adjustment. And that is um, how you use the microscope.